Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm super excited to talk about. And it's why polymaths are like Jedi. And I'm sure that we're going to continue this conversation over various videos. But this is the first video and um and you can't talk about Star Wars without having one of the coolest Star Wars characters ever, and yes, this is a Christmas or Christmas ornament that I actually keep here in my office because I love Darth Vader um, for so many reasons. Probably the best uh, villain in science fiction or fiction in general, just the best villain ever written, and um, and also what a great conflicted character. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic, so. I keep him around though for, for when I write. Um, he reminds me to, to be able to add depth to my characters. But um, when we look at Darth Vader, when we look at Yoda, when we look at Obi-Wan, when we look at any of the Jedi, whether they're Sith or Jedi, but we'll focus on the good guys for now, the thing that stands out is that they have they're they're sort of a um, they're a good example of what polymaths could be in the future right right now this channel focuses on how to become a modern day polymath but sometimes we have to think about what are polymaths going to be like in the future in order to to kind of get an idea of where we're going and um, when you look at Jedi they are multifaceted and they develop so many different skill sets right physicality is very important to them right the ability to use their lightsaber and <clears throat> and use it in such a way that it's like both elegant but also deadly and their but the other thing about their lightsaber and and their their fighting styles is that it's also very akin to martial arts so it's not some brute force there's a philosophy behind it and for those of you that are familiar with like um, with Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do he had a whole philosophy around Jeet Kune Do and it, and it was basically like you know be like water ever able to to change and fit the given situation and and the Jedi, just in their fighting style alone, you know, there's a philosophy behind that. And for those of you who are really uber Star Wars nerds, you'll know that um, for a Padawan to even become initiated and get a master, they have to learn what the um, like what the Jedi principles are before they can like create their lightsaber and things like that. But um, aside from that. They have to learn about law and politics, and they have to um, understand the economic principles. And and so, for example, when we look at, I know you're going to hate me for bringing up the prequels, but when we look at episode one, The Phantom Menace, where we have Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the beginning going as ambassadors to speak to the Viceroy um, they have to they have to understand how to there's a social dexterity there that they have to understand as an ambassador um, how to kind of weave their way in and out of the politics and um, and then you know there's a religion about them there's a spiritual belief in the force and the whole point is, when you take a look at um, the Jedi philosophy, it is very similar to the polymathic philosophy in the sense that the, these are these are people who are have expertise in different fields, and they they have great depth in some. So, for example, some of them might be very good at lightsaber combat, while some of them are very good at the Force but they all understand different aspects of each of the things that comprise being a Jedi. And what that does is it allows them to be a more whole person, but also 
whatever their area or areas of expertise are, it makes them it makes them that much stronger and that much more knowledgeable because instead of just focusing on that one thing, they have that depth of knowledge, but also the breadth of knowledge. So just like a fire, you don't want the fire to just burn up. You want it to burn out so that it can catch everywhere. And that is the same thing for polymath. When you're approaching different problems, you want to look at it from all the different angles. And even if your expertise is in one area, you want to be able to to keep an open mind as to how different subjects and topics are having an effect whether it's the economy whether it's personalities whether it's um, technology whatever the case may be there's so many different things that affect the world and just like the the other thing to kind of go back to uh, to the to the water quote from Bruce Lee is the world is like water it's never one thing it never stays the same it's constantly moving our galaxy our universe is constantly moving I mean if you think about it even um, the particles that make us right if, you, if you've studied um, if you've studied physics then you know that they're never actually in, in two places at once. And the other really trippy thing, if you really want to get into it, is like everything that comprises you, every atom, everything that, that, that makes you a person, actually there's space in between it. When you touch a table, you don't actually feel the table. You're not touching the atoms of that table. You're touching the force field of the particles that are revolving around the atoms and you're feeling the your your nerves are relaying to you the feeling of the pressure against each other so that's trippy in and of itself but the point is everything is constantly in motion even you and the more you can wrap your mind around that and the more that you can realize that there's never one definitive solution always for for any given thing there are multiple angles of attack and the polymath mindset is one that recommends the most effective path, the one that will get you the biggest bang for your buck. Um, and so, for example, and th this I'm going to geek out again here. For those of you who have read any of the, the New Jedi Order series, um, there's one book, and I can't remember, it's, it's a couple down the line, where Anakin, not Darth Vader Anakin, but Anakin who is um, the youngest son of Leia and Han, he is, I think it's in the beginning of the book, and he's doing his lightsaber drills, right? And he's one of the most um, skilled lightsaber, um, you know, fighters of the new Jedi Order. And the thing that he realized as he's going through his, you know, um, going through his set and he's, he's sparring with another Jedi is that the, the closer he allows himself to the danger, the safer he is or the bet, like that is the best move. But in order for him to realize that, he had to open his mind to the fact that, that what he was taught before and and common defense techniques um, only get you so far before you have to look at a more advanced level and that requires you to open your mind that requires you to put yourself more at risk than you normally could be in combat but what he realizes is in order to be able to make those those killer blows and and, and it's sort of like a game of chess. In order to get close enough to your opponent to, to get the winning blow, you yourself has, have to risk much. And so in the polymathic mindset, and I'm sorry if I'm getting super geeky here, but for the polymathic mindset, you have to allow yourself to open 
your mind to new things and to 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 tell yourself that you're not going to rest on your past laurels and that even though something worked great in the past it may not be the best solution for your current situation and that you may have to tweak it and that maybe maybe things that have been principles for decades or centuries have to be re-examined and looked at from a fresher point of view given the fact that the world does change and we have new technologies and new information and new abilities every single day we are expanding and growing as a society and as a culture so I hope this has been helpful if at least not entertaining um, so but real quick before I go just think about you know in your everyday life how can you be more like a Jedi how can you find not just those things that you focus in on as as your as your strengths but how can you look kind of across the board and find different skills and abilities that can augment those strengths different different topics that might be wildly outside of your normal skill set or expertise but they may give you a new perspective and glean light in an area that you hadn't seen before that could that could bring you to newer so newer to new better solutions than you were able to come across before and um, so if you like this video please use the force and press the like button or subscribe to my channel and you'll get more interesting videos like this where I'm talking about all different kinds of topics so until next time take it easy